Welcome to Williams and Worf, clearly, he's coming to play, Wonderland of Wood. Folks have always asked me to make a little video of what it looks like here where I live, so I thought I'd do that today. So here we go, this is the main hallway. Uh, you'll notice as you go through there's a lot of wood. Um, these are what I call my family portal. Uh, different pictures of the kids and the grandkids and different things. Uh, my most cherished relative, for sure, and of course the Raiders. This is a picture of my dad, uh, who is the subject of my tune called Find A Way. Yeah. Uh, more pictures of the grandsons and the granddaughter, Kristen, playing some ball. The boy's doing their thing down in Disney, Little Miss Addie's book, and then Chad and Virginia's wedding book, and my mask. So, if you were one of those people that wanted to know how I felt about masks, I have a few. Here's some pictures, just pictures of the kids uh, doing their thing. And uh, my family portal is the one that's closest to the door. Uh, so, as soon as I walk in, I see it first. And when I'm leaving, it's the last thing that I see because I think the family is important. So you'll notice as we go through uh, that you're going to see a lot of barn doors. Uh, these are all custom made uh, for my loft. We made them here uh, in the loft when we were doing uh, the renovation. So here we go down the hall. Uh, the second portal that we come to is what I call Faces and Places. So, in each of the portals, there are hanging shelves uh, that are, I designed these. Uh, they have uh, rough edge red oak wood and uh, old hardware that I found at different places throughout the, throughout the world when I go out doing what I call junkin'. Some people call it antiquing. I call it junkin'. Uh, but here in the faces and places are pictures of places that I've been uh, that were pretty special to me that I took uh, as well as my collection of bossons, uh, chalk, hand-painted heads, uh, some of which are from the early 60s up through uh, kind of the uh, mid-80s or so. Uh, I also have a few antiques uh, as we go along, so this is more faces uh, a few beer steins that I picked up over the years and just some collectibles uh, that have come from my travels as I wandered throughout our lovely world. Um, as we go on further down, uh, we're going to enter into what I call the Native American portal. Uh, and so uh, this one is full of Native American stuff, artifacts, art. Uh, some of it's very, very real. Uh, the rumor is that in one of those peace pipes, you could still smell a little bit of peyote. I personally wouldn't know what that smelled like, but maybe somebody else does. Uh, but just more uh, antiques. One of my favorite pieces uh, of antique with the leaded glass and, and uh, all that is right there. Uh, more of my kachinas uh, that are... Uh, uh, how the Native Americans told stories and passed their history. Uh, along to their kids uh, by building dolls and telling them the stories of the dolls. So they're called Kachinas. I have a few, just a few Kachinas. Now we'll head into what I call the Mayan portal, uh, although it's actually more than Mayan. It's uh, Mayan and Incan and Aztec pre-Columbian stuff, uh, a lot of it. Uh, but a lot of this is our you know, artifacts and, and art pieces that I've found, uh, you know, in my travels around uh, throughout the world. Actually, that uh, the table uh, came from China. It's pretty cool. Uh, this is where Worf's toys are, if you wanted to know. Uh, he wanted to let you know they were still there. So he got them all out for you to see. Uh, but a lot of uh, pretty cool stuff in this particular portal. Um, and some of the some of these items are, are legitimate digs, pre-Columbian digs, stuff that came out of the dirt. Um, so pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Now we'll go into uh, the main kind of entertainment area 
in the loft. Uh, this is uh, this is where my TV is, and uh, this is the uh, entertainment center that I built. Uh, you can see it also incorporates barn doors and that kind of thing, and it also has quite a bit of art uh, on it uh, of different things that I've found or that other people have found, and they knew that I would be interested in. Uh, the picture uh, of the hieroglyphs behind that is a picture I took, actually. So, uh, yeah, quite a bit of art here, quite a bit of interesting stuff to look at. That's one thing about uh, my loft. You have plenty of things to look at and plenty of things to observe. Uh, and uh, there are 268 different sets of eyes here in the loft. Let's swing around. This is uh, the area that uh, those of you that watch the live streams and some of the videos that I've made here, uh, you'll be familiar with. That's my guitars. Um, the guitar wall is uh, one of the reasons that I bought this loft to begin with. So it's got all my guitars are hanging up there. And plus, you know, some of the uh, memorabilia from my albums, uh, you know, that's actually the original oil. Uh, by Dama Jean Frick. Uh, that was the uh, album cover for Find A Way. Uh, some more artwork that came from the Changes Project. There's Find A Way. There's Crossing Willow Creek. Uh, there, of course, is Yoda. Uh, do or do not. There is no try. Uh, you'll see a few Yodas if you look closely. Um, my new cool desk uh, that I found. Uh, and some more, you know, antique type stuff. Some more Yodas. Uh, that uh, uh, were given to me for by friends of mine over over the years, but again, this is uh, that's the guitar wall, and we'll head uh, a little bit into the kitchen, and uh, I'll show you all a little bit of uh, what this is like. So one of the reasons we call it the Wonderland of Wood is there's a lot of wood. Uh, this is a custom piece that uh, a guy built for me, uh, and we call it the Seeds and Stems Wall because it was made out of leftover pieces, leftover pieces of wood from when we did the uh, construction period. Here we go, uh, just pretty standard kitchen, some more in Native American art, some more of that kind of thing, uh, fresh fruits and vegetables, all my ninjas, which is how I cook, and my coffee cup, and then there's the wharf. Wharf came to see us, he's gonna lay there while we're doing this, so he's being a good dog. Yeah. So that's kind of the main hallway and the main living area for the Wonderland of Wood. I'll take you now uh, into my bedroom, uh, which again has quite a bit of uh, art and interesting things in here. Uh, a lot of dream catchers uh, here in my bedroom uh, to keep the bad dreams away, right? Uh, but uh, these are actually some lamps that I got in New Mexico when I was out on tour. Uh, they're made out of stone. They're made out of a different uh, kind of a stone. That is uh, the album cover for uh, Who Are You? Who Am I? Again, an original oil uh, by my friend Dama Jean Prick. Um, doorways, some more art, some more furniture, some more things. Uh, we will come back out of the bedroom now and I'll walk you down into the hall that goes uh, into my bathroom. So the reason I wanted to do this was at the end of that hall is a really cool barber's mirror uh, that I found antiquing one day. And uh, it's really nice, really nice piece. Uh, this is my bathroom. We won't spend much time in here, but I did want to show my shower that my grandsons call uh, the car wash. It has a few jets in it. So, but again, everything in here is old. Even the, uh, lavatories and all that are all made out of the same kind of wood that uh, all the doors are and all the trim and all the stuff. So, uh, this is the big door that covers my laundry room. Pretty sure you don't want to see that. Uh, and now we can go into the danger zone. So this is the, my grandson's room. Uh, and uh, they uh, they like to come and hang out with me, but it, it's got really cool doors in it uh, and really cool artwork. Uh, they're very sports oriented oriented kids, and so there's a lot of sports stuff in here, uh, some of which is 
really, really cool. Um, they also have a big TV, their own desk, video games, all that kind of stuff. They have a good time in here. Here's the wharf. He's coming along to visit with me. Uh, there's their chairs they sit in. Jordan was good enough to make the bed, so he's a hero. They have their own bathroom, uh, but also included in this bathroom is the jacuzzi shower combination that I use because I'm old and uh, after 10 knee surgeries, it's a good thing. But again, just more wood, more wood and it's all, it's all kind of there. So that's kind of a walking tour um, of what I call William and Worf's Wonderland of Wood. There goes Worf again. He's got the zoomies evidently. He's gonna go down and do some stuff. But uh, a lot of people have asked uh, what goes on and what this looks like in here. Um, and so now you know. So again, there's all my guitars. Uh, and uh, I'm very proud of those. And we'll just take one more little pass down the portals so the Mayan Incan Aztec portal which leads into the Native American portal that has lots of stuff lots of cool things that leads into <laughs> the faces and places portal so pictures of different places that I've been throughout my life and my collection of bossons heads and that leads into uh, the family portal so pictures of the kids pictures of the grandkids pictures of my dad uh, all things that are very 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 important to me so that is the wonderland of wood hope you enjoyed the little tour and uh, we will see you next time live long and prosper